Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life. Well... Open the silo door. They're coming for us. It's our only way out. Oh yeah. my god, we're doomed. What a way to begin the episode. Yeah, clearly things are definitely not going good here. Okay, now if you touch these lasers, it's gonna trigger stuff, and that's not good. But I don't know if it's actually possible to get in between these lasers. I, I don't think it is. We, we just have to deal with the turrets. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. That one was, like, literally dead on arrival. Just He picked the worst moment to warp in. Oh. <sighs> okay. So, these are like mounted uh, gun turrets, and they can be destroyed, but you gotta be really quick. And careful, like that. Well, at least the head crabs aren't having any luck hitting me so far. history. I actually first played Half-Life on the PlayStation 2. It was the PS2 version of, well, obviously it was the PS2 version of the game. And honestly, I didn't really like it that much, like back when I first played it. But then later on, like later down the road though, I got to play the game on PC, like after getting Steam and stuff. I got to experience Half-Life on PC and it was so, so, so much better. I usually prefer playing first-person shooters with a mouse anyway, as opposed to a controller, because I just find aiming with the mouse to be like a lot faster and a lot more precise and accurate. I just think it's better than using a stick to aim, but it's not to say I don't like to play first-person shooters on consoles, though, because I can definitely play them. It's just that if I had a preferred control setup, it would definitely be a uh, mouse over controller. Yeah, I've actually... I'm not one of those guys that's played Half-Life, like, a billion and one times. I've Actually, this might only be, like, my... Maybe my fourth time through the game? I'm actually not sure. Fourth, possibly fifth. Which is why I'm not, like, a seasoned pro that's just speedrunning this whole entire thing and, you know, doing it like nobody's business. Plus, I think all the mods that I've played lately, like, I've gotten so familiar with all these different mods I've been playing the past few weeks that it, I think it almost somehow, like, made me forget the, like, forget a lot of stuff in this game. Like, I didn't forget the entire game, but, I don't know, I guess it's because generally, I don't know, maybe it's because the mods are generally a lot more difficult. Like, the, the, the mods are generally a lot more difficult than, you know, the main game, and I guess I'm so used to the mod difficulty that the easy, easy difficulty of this game so far is kind of what's been throwing me off. Like, I keep expecting all these, um, all these huge threats, but it's all just been really easy. That may be kind of silly. That, actually, what I just did was very silly. Um... I'd actually like to load my most recent save, please. Thank you. That's another cool thing about, you know, obviously the PC version of Half-Life and many first-person shooters. Quick saving. Some people may call it cheating, some people may call it save scumming or whatever, but, nah. Eh. 
Like, you know, repeated, constant use of quick saves. Which, honestly, I try to avoid when I can, but, you know, sometimes when the part of the game is, like, really, really hard, you might see me doing that a lot. So, I apologize if that annoys anyone. But, that's just how I play sometimes, especially in the later portions of this game. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> Predicted all of it, you know. All of it. Oh, great. Oh well. That just that just went fantastically. I couldn't have gone better. Is there even any way to get through here without these things being set off? I don't think so. In that case. Sorry, scientists. I think if you do it just right, you can, like, shoot the legs. Yeah, there we go. Kind of shoot them over from a safe distance. All right, I'm full. Hey, G-Man again. And what you just heard, well, not what the soldier heard, but what you guys just heard was one of the soldiers. And you guys can probably guess this if you haven't seen or played this game before, but the soldiers are hostile. So yeah, from this point on, we're going to be facing a whole lot of human opponents. And let me tell you right now that these soldiers are a lot more dangerous than the majority of the aliens we've been facing. Mostly because I'm pretty sure they're they're all using aim bots or something. Because it's like, if they have you in their line of sight and they fire, they will pretty much hit you regardless. Like, there's no way you can, like, strafe and dodge their bullets. At least I've never I've never been able to effectively. The best thing you can do is hide behind cover or hide behind a corner or something and pop out. Honestly, if I'm gonna do any save scumming, it's probably going to be to get past soldier encounters, because I was just never too good at fighting these guys. But we'll see how that goes. Though, I don't really want to be standing near that. When I could potentially be shot at. Okay, got that one. Whoa! Grenade! Wait, where'd he go? Yeah, that was probably the dumbest possible thing I could have done. Sometimes I do that, though. I just run straight at these guys with a shotgun and just, like, try to double blast them at point-blank range, and that'll usually kill them in one hit. Well, technically two hits, since it uses two shells. Oh, well. Those healed me up sufficiently, so... Not really a big deal. Also, if you're wondering if you can use those, yes, you can, but all I do is close these shutters, and I'm not sure if there's really any purpose to that. Yeah, now these barnacles might want to shoot and get them out of the way. That's not good. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah. That route is nope. Yay, more energy! I think I saw one. Yeah, I thought I heard a grenade bouncing around. My shotgun strategy is apparently not working too well against these guys. Okay. Well, this should make this just a little bit easier. And what we're gonna do... Well, actually, I was about to shoot one and run. Actually, you know, wait. Hold on, reload. I was going the wrong way. This is the way we need to go. Okay. I think I can drop down here without alerting them. Okay, good. Now I just don't touch that. I'm the one man. You are from the anomalous material. Pretty sure we gotta fight quite a large number of them in this room. Although these guys seem to be going down pretty easily with just the pistol. I was waiting for you to run back. Oh no. All right. Huh. That it? I thought there were more of them than that. Guess not, but I ain't complaining. I like to lob grenades around. Oh. Really? You guys like to lob grenades around? Here. Grenade party. I have no idea if that actually accomplished anything. Oh. Well, okay. Apparently it did. I wasn't actually expecting to kill any number of them with that. And you recognize that room, we were just down there. All of that was pretty much just to get up to here. And with this, we're finally going to the surface. On a very, very, very slow elevator. to get that grenade out at just the last second. Oh yeah, I think there's I think 
bombs actually drop here, and you have to, like, be careful with that. Or maybe not. I thought you had to run from airstrikes here. Well, actually, you do run from airstrikes. Really? Game, were you just, like, trolling me or something? It's like, hey, why aren't they launching airstrikes? I could have sworn they did. Good thing they built these tunnels stable. Okay, I think that's where we need... Oh, yeah, that is definitely where we need to go. Now, where do I need to go here? I'm actually just... Oh. I'm actually just testing something. Oh. Never mind, those bars up there broke. Alright. Actually, I think you're just supposed to, like, speed it all the way down to the bottom of this or something. Yeah, there we go. Now we won't have to waste our ammo taking care of them soldiers, either. And be very careful with this part, obviously, because you fall into that, you're gonna kind of die. And it's gonna kind of suck. shoot him through this? Oh, cool, I can. Oh, hey. Barrels blew up and it took another one out over there. Okay. Okay. You want someone who'll fight back? Fight me. think that's where I go. Or do I need to break these? No. Maybe I need to keep going to the right over here. I think... maybe... I think maybe I just discovered an optional area. Okay, not that way. Attention. Black Mesa announcement system now under military command. Oh, wait, right. You just do this. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, well. At least I got some good stuff. Okay, I think I have to go all the way down to the bottom of that uh, vent shaft.
any head crabs? I don't see any. I think we're in the clear. Maybe. Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team and the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. Well, sounds like our next destination is set, but before we do that, I wanted to check what was up here, because I don't remember. Probably just ammo or something. Or possibly nothing at all. Oh, indeed, it is actually nothing at all. Time well spent. I don't think we can go this way, can we? Nah. Yep, this is the only way. Well, I think this would be a great place to end the video, so see you in the next one, guys.